This is ABC 10 News at 6. You know, a scientific breakthrough. Plus, fact or fiction. A new program that tests whether someone is honest or lying. Thanks for joining us tonight. And look close, because they say your eyes are the window to your soul. Well, there's a tech company based in Utah, and they have developed a way to actually look into them. It's called Eye Detection, and the computer program can tell if a person is lying. ABC 10's John Bartell puts the new lie detector to the test. Now I'm going to ask you some questions. The modern-day polygraph machine was invented in the early 1920s. It's complicated. Lie detector machines take an experienced person to interpret the results. Have you ever watched pornographic videos? Robert De Niro had access to one in the 2000 film Meet the Parents. No. But lie detector tests are not always affordable or accessible to law enforcement. That may change soon. A Utah-based company is introducing a new lie detector without all the fancy hookups. 65 centimeters. Neil Harris works for Converus. They developed a computer program that reads lies in your eyes. That old saying, the eyes are the window to the soul, really is true. So the program is pretty complicated, but essentially, when you lie, the size of your eye pupils change, and a little camera measures those changes. You know, a scientific breakthrough. The eye detection program is already used in other countries. Now the U.S. government is looking at it, and so is local law enforcement. So we spend a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of personnel resources trying to find the right people. Amador County Sheriff Martin Ryan says he's interested in using it during the deputy hiring process, but it might also help with gun control. Concealed weapons permits. Well, I had to try the machine out myself, so Neil had me write down a secret number, look into the machine, and lie. I don't know how I did it. The machine read me like a book. Um, my girlfriend is not going to find out about this program, right? Lucky for guys like me, the program is only being marketed to law enforcement and the government. It's probably a good idea that a reporter is a bad liar. John Bartell, ABC 10 News.